All right, everybody. What up, Popper MTG? Back with some more games of Popper, as is always. What yep, we do. that's what we do here. Yep. I can't even speak. That's okay. I'm just too excited for this sweet deck that we're playing. Um, this deck is called Mono Blue Metalcraft, not to be confused with Affinity, because I'm not a sellout. <laughs> yep. We don't play tier one decks, and we're certainly not playing this in the just for fun room. Certainly not. Um, <laughs> All right, let's start off. Uh, we got four copies of Darksteel Citadel, Artifact Land, uh, taps for one colorless, and this one has Indestructible. So if someone sides an Ancient Grudge against us, they can't even kill our Darksteel Citadel. So. Wow. <laughs> we got uh, some amount of islands. I don't want to count them. Uh, we have four copies of Seed of Synod. Okay, it's so we have, we have islands. 11 islands. Wait. Yes. 11 islands. And four copies of Seed of the Synod, Artifact Land, uh, same deal as Seed of the Synod, except for it is not indestructible, and it taps for blue instead of colorless, so in that it is completely different than Dark Steel Citadel. Yep. Uh, we got four copies of Preordain, the best one blue mana cantrip in the format. Wow. Uh, we got four copies of Videlkin Surtark. This guy is insane. This guy's out of control, Dan. Uh, this guy is a one mana cost for one mana. You get all of this value. Yep. One mana, blue creature, one one. Uh, he has Metalcraft, which means if I have three or more artifacts in play, he gets to do this thing. And uh, the thing that he does is he taps, and uh, when he does tap, I get to tap target artifact creature or land, and I get to activate this ability. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Explain Metalcraft again. Yep. Sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been a rough day. Popper redundancy. <laughs> Popper redundancy. MPG. Yep. Stutter yep. on words. <laughs> uh, why don't you just do the deck deck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got four copies of Bone Splitter. Uh, equipment, artifact, one mana, equip cost one, equip creature gets plus two plus zero. Oh. Mm. This thing is like artifact rancor. Okay. Uh, contributes to metalcraft, adds the metalcraft count, not the affinity count, just the metalcraft count. Yeah, no affinity here. <laughs> this is not affinity. Yep. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, four copies of Ethereum Sculptor. This guy is a one two for two mana. Artifact spells that I cast cost one mana less to cast. So you can go, like, uh, turn two, play this guy free, play your Bone Splitter, you mm. can play Vault Scourge for free, yep. and two life. Uh, just makes, makes you guys all cheaper, adds to the Metalcraft count. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I like and also, he's a one two, it doesn't die to Electric Grief, which is nice. Mm. Um, four copies of Counterspell, uh, the White Border. <laughs> yep, old I picked the ugliest one because it was the cheapest. <laughs> Uh, it's a dude meditating, and that stops you from doing things for some reason. He's meditating about pussy. That was a horny Michelin man joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, four copies of Bolt Scourge. Uh, one one for two mana, and uh, so it's one mana, one Phyrexian black, and uh, what Phyrexian mana is, is I get to choose to pay two life, or I can pay one black mana for that specific part of its mana cost. Yeah. Um, uh, it is flying. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's an artifact. It's got lifelink. Yep. And uh, moving on, <laughs> we got... Well, this is just, it flies it, over everything. It pays it's got for lifelink. itself after uh, two hits. It does. Or you can put a Bone Splitter on it. It becomes a 3-1. Oh, my God. Or you could put a Volshock Morningstar on it. Uh, this is a two mana cost artifact. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two, equip cost of two. And this thing is out of control insane because like most of the creatures in popper can be like two threes one threes whatever sure and uh you put this on just about anything in your deck this thing just crashes right through it it doesn't even care anymore yep uh even better when you put it on vault scourge because it's just a huge fat life linker you yep. know punches through everything that is flying ever put both on it good and then it becomes bane slayer like five three yeah <laughs> you got four copies of porcelain legionnaire this guy is a two mana cost one phyrexian white. Um, it's a 3-1 with first strike for essentially two mana. If you got a Ethereum Sculptor, it costs one mana. Oh my god. This thing blocks all day. This thing attacks all day. Get first two. strike screws up combat math for everyone. They can't figure it out. It's nuts. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's just a... He's, he's a guy, yeah. He's a powerful dude. You can beat him up. Uh, he dies to electricity along with Vault Scourge, which is unfortunate. But, yeah. you know, the 3-1 first strike is just so good for two mana. Great. Uh, four copies of Thoughtcast. <laughs> this thing has uh, Metalcraft 4. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if I have four artifacts in play, I can cast this for one blue, and this is draw two cards straight up. Wow, that's crazy. Pretty good. And uh, moving on, we have Mirror Enforcer. This thing has Metalcraft 7. <laughs> um, 
If I have seven artifacts in play, I can cast them for free. Yeah. So, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. We got free fort forms, we got free creatures, we got free everything, just play everything, tap yeah. all your shit down. Yeah. Yeah, beat him up. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, Dalkin Dalkin's attack. Let me give you an example of how good this guy is. Tell me. Uh, you're playing against Tron. They play like a Tron piece, and you land this guy on turn one. Uh, you get Metalcraft turn two, you can start tapping down their lands. So you slow them down like one full turn for like each time you tap this guy, essentially. Yeah. And once they do manage to overcome him, they cast their like Ulamox Crusher, this guy just starts tapping down Ulamox Crusher. <laughs> it's like everything you do is for nothing. And meanwhile, you're just beating up with like three ones and four fours and shit. It's like, how do you win? How do you win? I don't know. It's impossible. Uh, moving on to the sideboard, me and Dan uh, carefully <laughs> assembled this. Mm. Yep. <laughs> with the razor edge of modern magic theory surgical and, precision uh, we got four copies of hydroblast counter target spell if it's red destroy target for if it's red everyone knows what hydroblast does uh, we don't have too much game against mono red except for this guy mm -hmm. uh, four copies of narcolepsy comes in against decks with big fatties we all know how much we love narcolepsy here at popper mtg yep. uh, four copies of fade away for each creature its controller sacrifices a permanent unless he or she pays one so uh, this guy comes in against tokens. Yep. Seems like a pseudo rat. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, three copies of Relic of Progenitus comes in against graveyard decks. Everyone knows what Relic does. Uh, artifact, one mana. Target player exiles a card from Misery Graveyard when you tap it. Or you can pay one mana to exile both graveyards and draw a card. And that's it for the deck tech for blue metal craft. Certainly not affinity. Definitely not. <laughs> for sure not affinity. <laughs> Don't ever say we played affinity because we didn't do it. <laughs> And we'll see you guys for the matches. Thanks for watching.